Yo, what's up guys, War Koopa here, and someone asked me in the comments if I can make a video on how I fight on the open field, so this video is dedicated to that. I'll be showing what I do, why I do it, and what I think in the moment. And four things to keep in mind, I only fight with tier 5 troops, the commanders I fight with are pretty much expertise, I fight only with infantry on the field, and my gear is decent or better than decent. I say this because I might play in a different way from some of you, so now let's get into the video. So here you can see that the enemy has the pass and they have broken through. This means that they are at a disadvantage because they have more distance to cross in order to get to us, and they are also in a corner. So in this situation, I don't mind staying in the back. I normally almost always do this, and since I bank on the idea of having AoE, I repeatedly have my troops walk back a little bit so that when I attack someone, my armies are facing down at the enemy. When someone is surrounded, your armies tend to go around them, and if my armies are facing upward, then my AoE won't hit anyone. Once you push the enemies back behind the gate, you send your troops back to your city to return at full health. Another thing I constantly do is switch targets so that I don't end up going too far chasing someone, but I still keep my rage. Your rage does not stop just because you're attacking someone else, so if your original target retreats, look for someone else that is about to cross onto your side so that way you transfer your rage onto them. Also to me, if I don't have any friends right on me or right next to me, that's a clear indication to retreat. That just tells the enemy that I should be attacked next because no one is going to attack them while they are attacking me. Only my friends can protect me better than any gear I have or any tanky commander I have. I was noticing here that we were slowly getting overwhelmed. I don't normally like to fight in these scenarios, but I did it anyways just to try and hold them off, even if it's just for a little bit. It's my fear that if people stop fighting, the morale goes down and others tend to stop fighting as well. Every time I see my screen go red, I immediately retreat to see who is the one attacking me, and if I can't seem to find them, then I continue to retreat until they stop attacking me. People might see this as cowardly, but I'm not a whale with infinite resources, and if someone chases me, then I hope and expect that my friends will take care of that for me. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but many times I try attacking someone, and I guess the game didn't register it, or maybe an ally got in the way, but instead of doing the attack command, the game will take it as I'm just moving my troops to that location. I hate seeing reports that is just me taking skill damage and I was never generating any rage because I wasn't attacking anyone. So if I ever see that my troops are not moving, I will either zoom in to see if I'm generating rage or I'll switch targets. But if I see that my troops are moving on their own, that just tells me that they are attacking someone. There is no shame in retreating, but there is shame in staying in the fight that you're going to get wrecked on and not having resources or speed ups later because you were fighting recklessly. Otherwise, you become useless to your kingdom if you can't fight anymore. KVK is a marathon. It's about wasting the other kingdom's resources and speed ups while trying to preserve yours. One thing I will say about my fighting style is since I fight with infantry only, I try to stay with friends as much as possible because I can't really run away from the enemy. So I really need to stay in my murder balls. And with Guan and Skippy, AoE is how I get most of my kills, so I try to keep my distance as much as possible. And with my gear set focused on defense and health on top of being infantry, which means they have low attack, I try to have commanders with big damage or big attack, which is why I like pairing Tarek with Skippy. With the commanders that I have access to, I pair Guan with Sargon for Guan's skill and attack capabilities and Sargon for the tankiness. Then I pair Scipio with Tarek and I do this for the damage that they both have and because Skippy has enough tankiness to keep them in the fight. And together they absolutely just shred through cavalry. Guan and Skippy together are still the best, but Skippy and Tarek is still amazing. I wish I had Harold because I'm so curious as to how he performs, but I just don't have him anywhere near ready to use him and I don't know if I should invest in him at this point. And as you can see, I attack and I retreat, I attack and I retreat and I just repeat that and eventually someone is going to cross and those are the ones that you want to focus on. I also have said this as my first tip in my 7 tips to the open field video, but as you can tell I zoom out to fight. I do this because I don't want to see how much rage I have because if I see it, I end up getting greedy and I try to have my active skill pop. And if I get greedy, I end up going too far and then it's just not worth it in any way if I just get swarmed and wrecked. Anyways, that's it for the video. It might be similar to my other videos, but the tips I give you guys are the tips that I follow myself. If you made it this far, drop that like, and if you haven't already, subscribe. Later.